Hello. Today, what I'm going to be showing is two blades. This one here, many people know. This is the Baco Laplander. Great saw. I've used it for years and love it. Now, this second blade, I didn't see a company name. It's just called the Ohm Blade Folding Saw. As you see here, it has these ohm shaped cutouts in the blade. That's to help reduce the amount of sawdust that gets caught up when you're sawing. So it's supposed to actually get rid of your sawdust faster, making for a smoother cut. This is an aggressive blade, it's 10 inches, and it's working very well. That's why I want to share this blade with you today, because Myself, I think it may be a blade that many will want to carry after seeing some of my tests. Up here in Canada, this here was half the price of the Baco Laplander. And this one came with an extra blade. So it's very budget friendly and it works pretty darn great. So I'm going to cut a tree back here. Now timing and all that other stuff it's all going to vary because I could be cutting an inch below the section I just cut with the other saw and there may be a knot in there it may be a little harder and so on so you can't really compare that it's just if it's a huge difference in time then there is a comparison but within seconds and such you're to me, it's not going to make a big difference. Uh, I'm just going to cut this. I'm going to show you how this works. Um, I've been very impressed with this. And because of the price, if it can work as good as a Laplander, it's a good saw to me for sure. So there's a dead tree back here. It's uh, about wrist size kind of deal. So three inches. And we're just going to cut this down. Now also, folding saws, to me, is a survival tool that everyone should carry. Because if you need firewood, I carry mine right on my belt with my belt knife. So I have a knife and a saw with me at all times. And that's what I use out here in the bush. So I'm going to start sawing right down here. And we'll see this one here is somewhat rotten I can tell just by how it's coming up the teeth but we'll now use the other saw and cut it off an inch below there's no knots in between these that's why I pick that uh, area but I'm going to show you the teeth on this and how it gummed up Now we're going to try the ohm blade. And I'll show you the teeth on this. You see even this one here gummed up a little bit that wet sawdust. Any blade's going to do that. So now I'm going to zoom in and just show you how each one cuts into a downed tree. So this here's the Laplander. It has nice fine fine sawdust. Now we're going to try the ohm blade. You can see how nice that cuts. 
Now if I actually take this and put two hands on this handle, which I can, it works very, very decent. For the fun of it, what I'm going to do is five strokes with each. One, two, three, four, five. This one, same thing. One, two, three, four, five. As you have seen, both blades work great. Now, the Baco is a favorite of many. And myself included. This was gifted to me from a friend. He hand passed it to me. And I've cherished this and carried it for years now. Love the Baco. Now, this own blade, I seen an advertisement. So I looked around for it. And I was impressed by the advertisement. So I just wanted to check it out. And it was very reasonably priced. I'm not going to actually mention the price because I can't quite remember, but it was uh, 20 something <laughs> Canadian. So you can probably get it cheaper in different places. But it's simple. You just push the button, fold it down, locks in, push the button, open it up. It's a very simple, simple saw to use and an extra blade. Now, this one here, as you've seen, Works as good as the Baco. And this one is an aggressive blade and it's two inches longer. So it may even work a little better than the Baco, which I have carried and loved. Now, where this is an aggressive blade, if you really come on to it, you have to have the power to pull it through because it will bite in and fetch you up on a knot or something. Sometimes you have to ease off a little bit and let it chew its way through because it is an aggressive blade. But having the, the difference of just two inches on your blade length can make a huge difference as well. So I just want to share this because it's been a very nice uh, saw for me and it may be for someone else. So I don't have any links or anything like that there. I bought this and just check it out. Look up own blade folding saw because that's all that this said. Have a good one. Thanks for watching. Take care. Like I said, it works well.